Hey there, thank you for tuning in to another book review by The Tech Agitator. Hey, if you're all about the fascinating world of artificial intelligence, commonly known as AI, like myself, and wondering what the future holds, Nick Bostrom's book, Super Intelligence, Paths, Dangers, Strategies, is a book you should not miss. It's not just any tech book. <laughs> it's a deep dive into how super smart AI systems might come to be, the big risks they could bring, and how we might keep things on track. Whether you're studying up, working in tech, or just super curious about where technology is heading, this book has something for you. <laughs> So what's inside this must-read book? Again, I'll say it's not just another AI book. Bostrom begins by discussing the various paths that could lead to the development of super intelligence. These include the enhancement of human cognition, the creation of machine intelligence, and the development of collective intelligence systems. Among these, the focus is predominantly on machine intelligence, particularly through approaches like artificial neural networks, uh, genetic algorithms, and whole brain emulation. Bostrom argues that the transition from human level artificial intelligence, AI, to super intelligence could be rapid, a phenomenon he refers to as the intelligence explosion. Once an AI system reaches human level intelligence, it could improve its own capabilities and design even more advanced systems, leading to a recursive self-improvement loop. <laughs> and let's face it, people, there are a lot of us out there fearing that computers and technology are going to take over the world. These robots are going to start thinking on their own. And where will we be then, right? We'll be under the control of robots. So I think reading this book will help kind of level some expectations and, and give you a clearer framework of really how possible that might, that may or may not be when it comes to the development of technology as it relates to artificial intelligence. So super intelligence stands out in the crowd of artificial intelligence books in that it tackles the big question of what happens when AI gets smarter than us, quicker than we ever thought possible. It's perfect for anyone wanting to get their head around AI future predictions or the big questions about where tech is taking us. So Bosham's work, I personally feel, stands out among artificial intelligence books because it does a good job at the thorough exploration of the concept of the intelligence explosion theory, where AI systems rapidly evolve beyond human intelligence. It's a thought-provoking read for anyone interested in AI future predictions and the ethical and philosophical questions surrounding technology's advancement. I also think it's a perfect pick for researchers. Are you someone who's digging into the nitty-gritty of AI in its future? This book is packed with insights on everything from how AI brains could work to the risk of AI going rogue. It's a goldmine for anyone writing papers or diving deep into the future of smart machines. So researching AI's existential risks, it, it dives deep into that. So for researchers delving into those ex existential risk studies or looking for literature on cognitive enhancement, super intelligence offers a wealth of information on the pathways to super intelligence, including artificial neural networks and whole brain emulation. It's a treasure trove of insights for academic papers and projects focusing on AI developmental theories. And if you're someone who's in school right now doing research, 
I'm willing to bet that there is a lot of research requests from your teachers, your professors to write about AI related topics. And I think that's only going to grow in the future. It's here to stay. It's something we're going to have to do because we as a species, we as a society want to get our head around this thing. AI is here to stay, guys. It's not going anywhere. I also think this book is good for anyone who wants to simply boost your tech savvy professional skills too. So for the tech pros out there, Bostrom's insights into how we can manage super smart AI and make sure it plays nice with humanity are invaluable. From the boardroom to the policy drafting table, <laughs> this book is essential for navigating the future AI in the workplace. And frankly, in the world. <clears throat> and as it relates to the professional professional development in the age of AI, professionals concerned with long-term impacts of AI will find the book's discussion on super intelligence risk management and AI governance frameworks to be invaluable. I think the book provides a solid foundation for understanding AI regulation strategies and the global AI governance challenges we face today. And, and to give us a sort of insight in preparation for the challenges we may face in the future. Personally, I work with a large global corporation in the IT industry, and my company already uses AI in many ways. I also happen to work in operational risk. So in my day-to-day -day work, I've already come across many potential risks where AI has an impact on business operations and the way we work. I know it's going to get bigger and more complex from here, and I'm 100% certain that regulatory research, as well as building regulatory frameworks around AI will become a huge industry in itself. In fact, it's already started, whether, whether you're aware of it or not. So, you policymakers and advisors, you'll appreciate the book's focus on AI policy and ethics, including discussions on managing super intelligence and the need for comprehensive AI regulation strategies. It's a critical read for anyone involved in shaping the future of AI governance, which I think is definitely going to be a, a, a big thing. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, solid career path in the future let's face it so if you're someone who just simply wants to feed your tech curiosity you're curious maybe you're curious about ai and what it means for the future i think this book super intelligence is a go-to for that it's a thrilling look at what we might what might lie ahead of us as humans as technology races forward without needing a phd to get the gist of it so it's a tricky world of AI policy and ethics. And because of that, I, it's another reason why I feel like this book is a must read. It's all about making sure we are ready for challenges and opportunities of super intelligent AI with plenty of food for thought on keeping everything on the up and up, which is gonna be the crux of the, the struggle to make sure that we as a society, we as humans, keep AI at bay as it grows and develops. So for those who, like myself, are deeply thinking about AI, and you'll notice most of the content on my channel is AI related. So for those who love to like ponder the big questions, such as how AI fits into the moral universe or how it might help or hinder humanity, super intelligence is a thought provoker. The book encourages us to explore how smart machines fit into the bigger picture of life, how it fits into the bigger picture of ethics and the future. So why you need to read Super Intelligence? Is it, again, just another tech book? It's your guide to the thrilling and sometimes daunting world of AI and its impact on the future. The book breaks down complex ideas into something anyone can get into. So from the techie details of AI development to the big ethical questions and how 
we humans might keep things on track so that AI doesn't completely take over everything, just falls off the rails. It's something that the book explores heavily. And, I, and I, that was definitely a subject that I wanted to get insight from, from, a, from, a, a, from an expert, someone who's versed in the field, versed in the profession and are in the trenches of the development of AI. So if you're simply curious about super intelligence scenarios or the potential impact of future technologies on human evolution, super intelligence will feed that fascination. I think it's a great addition to anyone's collection of books on AI and the future. It offers a speculative yet grounded perspective on technological similarity and beyond. Because it's reality, people. AI is here to stay. We can choose to be excited about it or we can stay on the sidelines and fret about it. My attitude is this. Let's get excited about it. Let's get excited about what's next and make sure we're ready for the adventure of a lifetime with AI. Pre preparedness, learning about it is the best way to fend ourselves off from computers taking over the world. And I don't say that tongue in cheek. I'm not picking at people who feel this way. I mean, you know, I feel like AI is modeled on human thinking. So I definitely don't put, I don't shun the idea that, you know, maybe we'll craft the technology enough where it does begin to think for itself. But again, just read the book, get some insights, come up with your own conclusions, draw your own, make your own inferences and comment below like this is a subject i'd love to hear people's thoughts about and i'm not just talking about the trolls and the salacious people who want to just throw things out there for fodder but really what do we think is possible as it relates to ai so anyway i'll stop there again thank you for tuning in to another book review by the tech agitator I am fascinated by all things AI, and I hope you are too. Leave a comment below. If you found this review to be valuable, please hit that like button so other people can become aware of this resource as well. Subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing many more book reviews, um, product reviews. We'll be talking about tools that we use that's helping people make money in the world, whether it's online, whether it's in the boardroom and marketing. That's what this channel is all about. I want to see and hear your thoughts about AI and what it's doing for you and what it could potentially do for us in the future. So again, thank you for tuning in to the Tech Agitator, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.